Hey YouTube, this is DJ Elite with Serious Diversions Entertainment. Funny name, Serious Entertainment. I showed you um, a tour, did a tour a few months ago of our trailer, a little five by eight trailer. That's been working well for us. Uh, we've also been using uh, my, was our old family van and it it's changed a little bit now and has now become the DJ van for the last few months. As you can see, we're starting to get pretty full. I got two KW181s, speaker stands, DJ mix monitor stand, cart, which is just set, sitting here at the moment. It's, that's not normally where I keep it at. A six foot fold up table, X stand, Pioneer DDJ SX in that case over there. A couple of QSC K12s underneath the end of the stands here and you can just see the top of one of them there the back is full there's the uh, k10s um, some wireless mics uh, cables so like i said we're getting a little snug if i want to put my technics 1200s in there i've got to put them in the passenger seat or or take the um the ddjsx out and rearrange so because that is getting so snug, I recently picked up this monster. It's, uh, it's pretty homely at the moment. Uh, one of the reasons that I purchased this particular van is the fact that it has a built-in generator, um, which for mobile events can prove quite useful. Um, if we open this up, this is where the power comes out, and then right here, this little panel, I've got to get a locksmith uh, because uh, they did not provide me the key to unlock this, but um, I can run my power cables in through this little panel here. Plug them directly in. I've got two separate um, circuits, uh, 15 amp circuits, and I mean the generator's got 106 hours on it. So um, anyway, so that's uh, that's a nice handy thing to have. And then, like I said, it just comes right out through that little panel there. We've got to reconfigure some of the shelving. I think. My K, one of my K12s will go up there. That white panel right there is the um, sound deadening for the generator. I think I can stack a K12 up on top. Um, I should be able to put another speaker or two up on that shelf. Um, I can put plastic bins into those shelves right there. On both sides, we've got other shelves for the plastic bins, and so. They drop right into place. Uh, those Sterilite bins are the ones that I use. I use the 15 quart and then the larger size. I don't remember what the exact quart capacity is, but that's what I put all my cables and a lot of my gear and stuff in. And so if I pull out the center divider on each one of these, that will easily fit one of those 15 quart containers. I've already pulled one out, but I should be able to get, um, let's see, two, four, six bins, eight, ten, and I can get two more there, so twelve bins there. Uh, this is a pull-out storage drawer. Uh, again, this was originally owned by AT&T, and so they left, for whatever reason, they left a bunch of cables in there, so I've got to go through and get rid of that small cooler will fit right here and then actually this little thing here uh, holds little paper cups so um, I'm able to pull uh, you know oh, it's got a spider on it awesome anyway able to pull a little um, cup out and get yourself a, a drink of water on a hot day so that is the uh, van uh, up on top we have ladder rack and I should be able to put some trussing in there. I need to order uh, the lockdown 
uh, for this side. It doesn't have it on this side. It uh, came with a, um, a ball, so now I can tow my trailer, whereas my existing trailer did not have a, um, a towing package. I think this will serve us well for the next uh, few years. Just got to get a final wrap. I have to get them to probably pull uh, the rest of this or sand the rest of this off because all of the adhesive from the sticker is still on there. So I'm going to have to have um, the shop clean that off and also you know when they were scraping that off they in a few places they scraped down to the bare metal and so I need to get that taken care of so that we don't have any problems with rust. Here's another view of the interior. Those bins right there, I'm not quite sure what I will do with them. For me, I mean, it's only like two inches deep. Um, you know, two or three microphone cables would fill that up and then I'd have to be, you know, toting them out and putting them into bins to carry into the event anyway. So I may end up pulling those out and um, see if I can get some more of these metal brackets and maybe some of those shelf dividers and put up here and then I may leave those down there. Up here in the front, um, if for some reason I need to work on something inside, we have the little 15 amp breaker there, fluorescent tube there, and another fluorescent tube above the top of the door back there, and then we've got uh, six little 12 volt outputs. I think those just run off of the vehicle power. But we got a nice solid um, partition here, which is definitely safer toting all this heavy equipment around. We've got the cages over the windows, over all four windows. I'm going to pull them off and tent the windows. The van is like 12 years old. So, anyway.